tore up. I was lost. Wow. I was confused. Come on. I was hurting. Yeah. And you know what? God renewed on. my motor. Yeah. Now on. I'm shifting. Yeah. 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 I'm outside with my Lord and Savior. Yeah. Yeah. And everything's running smooth. Come on. Come on. Everything's running smooth because I allow God to shift, help me shift the gears Lord. that when I need to shift. Thank you, not Lord. to get ahead of him, not to stay behind him, on, but just to go right alongside him. Yeah. He holds my hand through every trial, every tribulation, every storm that I face. God gets me through it. Come on, come on. Son, you can't go around it. Come on. You have to go right through it. That's wow. all. That's all. That's all. And when you go right through it, and when you go through the fire, the fire is not going to consume you. It's just going to burn off the deeds that we have. Yeah. Yeah. And when we trust, then that you become that new creation. You know, and it, it's not one deliverance. It's a series of deliverance that we got to go yeah. through. Yes. Right. You know, but it keeps us aware and it keeps us on our toes yes, and recognize when it does come again, we know how to handle oh, the situation. Right. We know how to overcome the situation. It doesn't toss us like the waves and the seas back and forth. Right. It keeps us steady and going forward, pressing in and going closer, deeper into God's heart. Mm, and when we become closer to God's heart, and learn how to come boldly into his throne and lay our burdens down and recognize that all we need to do is just worship, praise him, and exalt his name. Yeah. That's all we need yeah. to do because the battle's not ours. Yeah. It's his. Yeah. It's cool. his. And all he called us to do is just, hey, Lord, here it is. I'm worshiping you. I'm praising yes. you because Judah is praised. And when Judah went up to the battle, it confused the enemy. Yes. Because the enemy was trying to say, what the heck? They're supposed to be torn up. They're supposed to run. They're supposed to be afraid. But you know what? We got a God that goes before us. Let's go. Let's go. To be against us. For greater is he that is in me than he that is of the world. And when we start speaking the word of God, come on, come on. then we can do all the yeah. all right that yeah. strength is yeah. Amen. That's right. So you know, you know, right now, whatever you guys are going through, you know, be confident in this one thing: that He that begun the work will finish it. And Jesus Christ. So if you're going through anything. It doesn't matter if you have 10, 20 years, we're always facing some kind of things. But if, when we continue to seek Him with all of our hearts, minds, and souls, you know what? It builds our faith. It endures, uh, Lolo said, heart, heart is, you know, is to be inflicted for a good soldier. For a good soldier. So if you thought that you were going to walk in the park, now, you know, now you're in the wrong ministry right here. Because you're going to go through some stuff. You're going to go through some trials. Because my God says, you will have trials and tribulations that he has overcome. Right? He has overcome. So it's your choice. You can stick with your trials and tribulations, or you can follow him and overcame for you and me. Because that blood that was shed in Calvary washes us and makes us pure and clean as white as snow. Was crooked because he says that he will make the crooked path straight. That's right. Right? Amen. right? That's right. So if you want to, I don't mind the thing that you know, we got a uh, road called uh, the Snake Road. Mine was worse than the Snake Road. Mine was all twisted. Come on. Yeah, come on. Brother. And God is straightening it out for me, and I keep on. I keep oh, on. What I couldn't do for the 43 years that I was out there in the world, God has done more. Oh. How can I not serve God? How can I not seek Him? Yes. Huh? I mean, I'm doing, I've gone through some stuff where I want to quit, but you know what? Quit and run that to what? What? Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Yeah. You know, there's nothing back there. I see 
What's up to him? Oh, and I see where man. he brought me out of. Yes. Man. I know that he can get me where I need to go to. Right. And God is so good. Yes, he is. God is so good. He will never fail you. He will never. That's his word. Am I a man that I should lie? Huh? Am I a man? If God said it, that settles it. That settles it. If it's his will, it's his will. Come on, man. He knows. I know at first, I always thought, you know what? I want a car. I want a house. I want to go because I was just in a little apartment. I was just married. I got married to a nurse. You know that? As you said, I got my own house. I got my vehicle. I go, that was the easiest thing that God can do. You know what I'm looking for now? Well, I'm looking for the peace, the joy, the love, and the mercy of grace. That's what I want in my heart. Because that's a peace that surpasses all of us. And when we get filled with that peace, nothing's going to move you. Nothing's going to move you from searching and seeking God. Amen? Amen.
this right here, you know. I mean, you know, I, I am so humble. I, I don't uh, really like to come and speak because of, of my lack of confidence and uh, of my past, you know, it haunts me, you know, like, you know, because I still see myself as the same person that I used to be. And I don't, I wouldn't want to say something that will stir you guys wrong because um, the pulpit is not something to play with. And uh, you have to have a lot of respect because you're standing and witnessing with God. And you wouldn't want to have the other people in your hands and serve them the wrong way and then when you face God with what happened. You know, what happened. So, you know, uh, when I come in here, I come as humble as I can be. Uh, someone that, like I tell, I tell somebody, I ain't no, I ain't no preacher. I'm just a pastor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just someone that loves God. Amen. Oh, I, I can only speak what God has done in my life. What He's shown me, what He's brought me out of, what He's taking me to, and. Uh, and I know that everybody says this. If he can change me, he can change you. And that's true. But the only way that you're going to find out is if you put yourself in it. Amen. Yeah, you Come put on. yourself in it. Amen. I can tell you how it is. I can tell you the experience. But you've got to experience for yourself. Come on. You know why? Try it out for six months. If you, God don't change you in six months. You turn back to the devil and he'll give you back your misery. Oh, that way, yeah. Come on, right. that way, come on, brother. Right. But if come you on. put yourself in God's hand and allow him to squeeze all the junk that you put your put inside, let him squeeze you out like an orange and let that juice, let that spirit overflow in your life. Woo! Come on. And they will touch someone else's life. Yes. And say, is that you? But I see you homeless over here. I see you strung out over there. How did you do it? It's God. God alone can change a man's heart if you're willing to submit, surrender, and humble yourself. Woo! Come on! And for men, that is hard to do. Woo! Come on! But it's possible. Yes, yes, yes. But it it's possible. It's possible. And you just gotta go. We went through hell, but we're in the streets. You know what? We don't have to go to hell with God. But He'll strengthen us to fight the good fight go. and run the race. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. We're supposed to run. Yes, yeah. man. And you know what? And it's, you know, the trench is hard to dig. It's hard. But when you start digging, and you start digging for God, and you dig, and you dig, here comes your wife. Help me. Help me. Then you put your children. And then that trench becomes wide. And then he will open up the windows of heaven. And pour out the blessing upon you that you cannot contain. And if you want it to keep overflowing in your life, keep dig keep digging. Keep digging. And make it wide and long, let it overflow for your Glory. children, your generation, your next grand, for your grandchildren, and beyond and beyond and yes. beyond. Amen. For everything that you do, let God shine through you. Yes. You know. So this is the scripture that I'm gonna read for Luke 3, 13 and 14. Brothers, it is clear to me that I have not come to that knowledge, but one thing I do. Letting go of those things which are past and stretching out to the things which are before. I go forward to the mark, even the reward of the high purpose of God in Christ Jesus. To keep pressing forward. It might hurt at times, but you know what? It's a good hurt. It's a good hurt. Because I know the outcome of it is going to be good because God is not there to harm you, He's not there to hurt you. He just wants to get you through it. Come on. That's all. Come on. So praise God yeah. in our gentlemen. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Come on, give it up, Pastor Rudy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we're gonna stretch out for a little five minute break and then we're gonna come back in, okay? Drink some water. Don't